In this video, you will learn the most essential things about commodities for investing. One of the most important asset classes, because they are present in your everyday life. From your morning coffee to the lithium in your phone's battery. And they are also an essential part of manufacturing. Commodities can provide valuable diversification and inflation protection in an investment portfolio because they tend to perform differently from other assets. There is a historical pattern of inverse correlation between stocks and commodities. When the stock market is performing poorly, commodities tend to experience growth and vice versa. So, I will explain what commodities are, the types of commodities, and how to trade or invest in commodities. Welcome to Cyber Money TV, financial education for the digital economy. In simple terms, a commodity is a raw material or primary agricultural product that can be bought and sold, such as gold, oil, wheat, or pork bellies. They're the building blocks for more complex goods and products, and they are often traded on markets like the stock market. Think of them like the ingredients for making a cake. They're the basic components used to make something more valuable. In short, it's a basic good used in commerce and is interchangeable with other goods of the same type. Commodities are typically classified into four main categories. Energy. These include natural resources such as crude oil, natural gas, heating oil, and propane. They are used to generate electricity and fuel for vehicles, among other things. Agricultural. These include products that are grown on a farm, such as wheat, corn, soybeans, and coffee. They are used for food, feed, and other products. Metals. These include precious metals such as gold and silver, as well as base metals such as copper, aluminum, and nickel. They are used for industrial, commercial, and building purposes. Livestock and meat. This includes cattle, chicken, and other animals raised for meat production. Commodities are traded on special markets called commodity exchanges. These are like big marketplaces where buyers and sellers come together to trade different types of commodities. Just like you would buy and sell stocks on the stock market, you can buy and sell commodities on these commodity exchanges. The prices for commodities change based on supply and demand, just like the prices for stocks. When there's a lot of demand for a commodity and not much supply, the price goes up. When there's a lot of supply and not much demand, the price goes down. People trade commodities for different reasons. For example, some people buy and sell them as an investment, hoping to make money from price changes. Some companies buy commodities like oil and wheat to use in their products. And some farmers and producers sell their crops on commodity exchanges to get a fair price for their goods. There are different ways of trading commodities, like futures, options, EDFs, and physical commodity trading. Still, they all follow the same basic principle. Buying and selling a standardized amount of a specific commodity at a particular price and at an exact time. Commodities are usually traded in standard contracts. Each contract represents a specific amount of the underlying commodity and the price is determined based on the current market conditions. Trading and investing in commodities through contracts is a way to gain exposure to the price movements of a specific commodity, allowing investors to potentially profit from price changes while also hedging against price risks. These contracts are agreements to buy or sell a specific amount of a commodity at a specific price and time in the future. For example, let's say you think the price of gold will go up in the next few months. You could buy a gold futures contract, which is an agreement to buy a certain amount of gold at a certain price on a specific date in the future. If gold prices go up, you'll be able to sell your contract for a profit. Another way to invest in commodities is through EDFs or exchange traded funds, a type of investment fund traded on stock exchanges. EDFs are baskets of assets, like stocks, bonds, or commodities, allowing investors to gain exposure to diverse assets. Commodity EDFs typically invest in futures contracts on commodities such as oil, gold, silver, or agricultural products, which can provide a way for investors to gain exposure to the price movements of these commodities. 
Commodity ETFs are designed to provide a convenient and cost-effective way for investors to gain exposure to commodities markets, as well as to hedge against inflation and diversify their portfolios. These are some examples of commodity ETFs. United States Soil Fund, SBDR Gold Shares, Invesco DB Agriculture Fund. Another way to invest in commodities is through the stocks of companies that deal in commodities. These companies are involved in the production, exploration, refining, or distribution of commodities, so their stock prices can be influenced by the price movements of the commodities they deal with. Some examples of companies that deal in commodities include mining companies that extract and produce metals such as gold, silver, and copper, oil and gas companies that explore, extract, and refine oil and gas, agricultural companies that produce and distribute food products such as grains, livestock, and dairy, timber companies that produce and distribute wood products. Investing in these companies gives you exposure to the commodity markets, as the price of their stock will be affected by the price of the commodity they produce. If the price of the commodity they produce goes up, the stock price of the company will also likely go up, and vice versa. However, investing in a single company's stock carries more risk than investing in a commodity index because the performance of a company depends not only on the price of the commodity it deals with, but also on the company's specific operations and management. It's also important to research the companies you're interested in investing in and consider factors such as their financial health, management, and competition in the industry. Another option to invest in commodities is through mutual funds. One of the most effective ways to protect a portfolio heavily invested in stocks from financial or political problems and economic downturns is to invest in commodity mutual funds. Commodity mutual funds generally allocate their investments between the stocks of companies operating in the commodity sector, such as mining companies, and the commodities themselves. Investing in commodity mutual funds allows for exposure to the commodity market without navigating the complexities of purchasing physical commodities or other instruments like futures or options. Besides, even if some underlying commodities did not perform well, the mutual fund as a whole may still yield positive returns. Commodity options trading is another way to invest in commodities, where the buyer of the option has the right, but not the obligation to buy or sell a specific amount of a commodity at a specific price and at a specific time in the future. Commodity options trading is a form of derivatives trading where an investor buys or sells the right, but not the obligation, to buy or sell a commodity at a predetermined price, known as the strike price, within a specified time frame, called the expiration date. Here's how it works. The buyer of a commodity option pays a premium to the option seller for the right to buy or sell the commodity at the strike price. If the buyer of the option chooses to exercise their option, they will buy or sell the underlying commodity at the strike price. If the price of the commodity moves in favor of the option buyer, they can realize a profit by selling the commodity at a higher price than the strike price. If the price of the commodity does not move in favor of the option buyer, they can let the option expire worthless and only lose the premium paid for the option. Options trading can be a way for investors to hedge their exposure to the price movements of a commodity, as well as to potentially profit from price movements without actually owning the underlying commodity. However, options trading is also considered to be a high-risk investment strategy, and it requires a good understanding of the underlying commodity, options pricing, and market conditions. If you have found value in this video, please smash the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. If you're interested in trading and investing in commodities, there are a few things you can do to get started. Research. The first step is to research the different types of commodities available for trading and investing. You can look into the different commodity markets, the different types of contracts and products available, and the historical price trends of the commodities you are interested in. Choose a broker. To trade commodities, you'll need to open an account with a broker that offers commodity trading. You can compare their fees, services, and regulations before you choose one. Educate yourself. Once you have an account with a broker, 
You must educate yourself about the commodities market and the products you are interested in trading. Your broker should have educational resources available, and you can also look for additional resources online. Start small. When you start trading commodities, it's a good idea to start small and gradually increase your investment as you become more comfortable with the market. Have a plan. It's important to have a plan and set clear goals for your trading and investing. This includes setting a trading strategy, risk management plan, and having an exit plan. Monitor your investments. Keep an eye on the market and your investments, and be ready to adjust your plan if necessary. Keep in mind that investing in commodities is considered a high-risk investment. The prices of commodities can be volatile, so it's not recommended to invest money that you can't afford to lose. Overall, trading and investing in commodities can be a great way to diversify your investment portfolio and potentially profit from price changes, but it's important to approach it with caution and to do your own research before making any investment decisions. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it, and now you have a better understanding of this asset class. See you in the next one.